This is ink. Toshitsugo Okabe is kneading it until it's as soft as a rice cake. It's imperative for him to be as thorough as possible because a well-kneaded mixture becomes high-quality calligraphy ink. It takes at least four years of aging before these solid ink sticks can be sold, and even longer for the most expensive ones. A 200-gram high-grade ink stick from this producer, Corbyen, costs over $1,000, and for some other brands, prices can reach almost $2,000. Meanwhile, almost double the amount of commercial liquid India ink can go for less than $9. So why are solid ink sticks so sought after? And why are they so expensive? It's January in Japan's Nara Prefecture. Ink producer Kobayen has been making Japanese calligraphy ink for 450 years. This type of ink, also known as sumi, is traditionally sold in the form of handmade solid ink sticks. To use the dry ink stick, calligraphers rub it on an ink stone to mix it with water. Sumi ink is typically black, but it can also be tinted brown or blue. The ingredients are simple, soot, animal glue, and perfume. But the quality of these materials and the time-intensive techniques required to collect and process them have a large impact on the final price. It starts in this room, lit by a hundred oil lamps. This workshop has four rooms like this, where artisans produce all the soot they require to make ink. Two workers are in charge of this stage, each overseeing two rooms and 200 oil lamps. They carefully manage the vegetable oil in the lamps and gradually collect soot throughout the day. In Japan, this process is called catching smoke. Every day, artisans light all 400 lamps and cover each with a lid, the underside of which collects soot as the oil burns. But they can't just leave the lid in the same place for hours, because overheating it will prevent soot from accumulating. The flame must be off-center, and the artisans must rotate the lid every 20 minutes for two hours. The artisans scrape the soot off the top of the lid. They replenish the oil, and the process starts all over, for a total of five times a day for each lamp. These lamps contain rapeseed oil, the most common choice when producing high-grade ink sticks. Ink sticks made of soot from even more expensive oils like polonia, camellia, or sesame can easily cost up to four times as much. But artisans must also consider other details, like the containers that hold the oil and the material of the wig. To ensure the quality of the soot, they use non-porous earthenware containers. Craftspeople in this workshop even weave the wicks themselves to exacting specifications. やはりあの、非常に紙の中に深く食い込んでくれるという、そういう側面があるもんですから、粒子の細かなすすで作り上げた墨の方が非常にあの、色も立体感のある非常にあの鮮やかな黒色を発色してくれますので。the fineness of the soot grains determines the final price. Then there's the binding agent, animal glue. Unlike most of its modern liquid ink counterparts, which use shellac, sumi ink typically uses cattle glue. For the most expensive ink sticks, artisans sometimes mix in other types of glue, such as monkey, deer, and goat. Corbayen says this improves the ink's glossiness and texture. The company buys glue, specially made for sumi ink, which comes in a dry, board-like form. Artisans dissolve it by mixing it with 70 degrees Celsius water, which takes over an hour and a half. According to Corbayen, dissolving the glue slowly at a low temperature is key to producing quality ink. Nikawa no 
くるんでくれてるわけですねですからすずりの上でこう吸っていくと非常にスムーズに液体になってくる But animal glue can have a bad smell So, Sumi ink makers add fragrance like Borneo and musk to counteract it. The Korea or Ireland to you know, a Mushiro Imawa, so no Kimochi Ojskeru to you got no Sayo no Honga, Hijoni Okina Yakuari or Hatashi Greater to my Masne. The next step is to knead the soot, glue, and fragrance into a soft dough. The dough is kneaded every morning by hand and foot. Doshitsugu takes care to knead it thoroughly so the soot and glue are evenly distributed. That way, the solid stick can eventually dissolve into homogeneous liquid ink. Once he's properly kneaded the dough, Doshitsugu cuts it into balls and weighs them for consistency. Then he places the balls into molds and uses a machine to press them into shape. Improperly kneaded dough results in ink sticks that don't produce rich color. Corbyen makes about 6,000 of its smallest, highest quality ink sticks a month. It employs a handful of artisans for this, and the ones tasked with kneading require the most experience. It takes five years to train as a Sumi ink craftsperson, but ten years before they're allowed to make high quality ink. Corbayen produces almost 40,000 of its smallest Sumi ink sticks between October and April, when the cooler weather of winter ensures the glue can harden during shaping. But the work isn't done yet. Drying the ink sticks too quickly will cause them to crack, making them unsellable. So artisans rely on a traditional technique using oak ash to slowly absorb moisture from the sticks over a long period of time. They start by covering the sticks in moist ashes. Each day, they swap yesterday's ashes with drier ones. They repeat this process for up to 40 days until the ink sticks are about 70% dry. After, they hang the sticks with straw and air dry them in-house for up to six months. Properly drying and maturing an ink stick takes at least four years. The longer the sticks dry and age, the better they perform and the more expensive they become. Corbayen itself has ink sticks that are hundreds of years old. <laughs> その人間の人生というかね、そういったものの年代に重ね合わせて説明されることもありますけど、けど今おっしゃったように、あの非常に古くなれば古くなるほどということは言えると思いますね。百貨店さんですとかその専門店さんで販売されているその日本の隅にし